Hello everybody, it is Corey from Gemini Guitar, back for some dark wave, perhaps gothic, post-punk, whatever you want to call it. It all sounds good to me. Okay, so it's um, pretty easy, this stuff, but I guess if you're, uh, you know, a novice guitarist, this sort of thing can be really fun to learn. One thing to get out of this is how to use the, uh, you know, a larger proportion of the fretboard to communicate the ideas that you want to get across rather than being stuck in just one position. So this is where getting to know your fretboard really helps as far as learning scales and intervallic relationships and triads and things like that, arpeggios. So to begin with, we are going to be in the second position. And what I'm doing here is making use of the B minor scale throughout. So we're going to start the fourth fret. And then we're going to then play the second and third fret on string two. Note that we're coming on the second beat of the bar. So those three notes there are derived from the B minor scale. The first three notes, in fact. What we're going to do then is use the uh, second fret on string one. And if we play that note and the third fret on string two and then this note here, we get the B minor triad. So that's the majority of this idea. This note here, the C sharp note, is the second degree in that scale from the root. Get some nice tension there with the root note. Now notice what we're doing in the third bar is a simple variation on the first bar. So instead of starting with the B note here, we're going to use the A note at fret 5 on string 1. But the other two notes are the same. We're also going to do a repeat in a slightly different rhythm because we come in off the beat. So first we come in on the beat, on the second beat of the bar. Then we come in off the beat. Now you're not going to notice that until you play it with a click track or a drum beat, but uh, yeah, that's what's going on there. So we're going to keep the, the same sort of rhythm going, just with different notes. So this time we're going to go up to the fifth position, but we're going to start the seventh fret on string one. So we're playing string one, fret seven, string two, same fret, fifth fret, string one. Use the same three notes again, coming in off the beat this time. Now that I'm doing that little percussive tap on the strings, you can hear where we're, you know, the difference between coming in on the beat and off the beat. Okay, so to finish up then, we've got the fifth, seven, and fifth fret on string one, starting on beat two. And then we're gonna finish with uh, the D, the C sharp, and the D on string one. And uh, what I like to do on this, you'll notice in the introduction there, I keep these notes ringing out for as long as I can. And then what I do at the end of this, I like to slide out of it. So we get. And uh, so wherever you can there, you can slide out of and into. Where do we slide into? There's a bit there. Just from that part in bar four. So you can slide up with your middle finger. Then position the third finger for the next bar. You can do a little slide up there too. 
Okay, so that wraps things up for today's lesson. Hope you've enjoyed it. Check out the website, geminiguitar.com.au and the download store if you'd like to support my work here on the channel. And I'll see you at the next lesson. Bye for now.